Is there anything more satisfying than pulling the wool over someone's eyes? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best prank TV shows. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the funniest and most outrageous prank shows or series that feature pranks in television history. <laughs> Number 10. The Eric Andre Show From running through Civil War reenactments dressed as a slave, to asking strangers if they'd like to sign a petition to help kill whales, the Eric Andre Show has no bounds. Hosted by comedian Eric Andre, along with his sidekick and fellow comedian Hannibal Burris, this TV show is the opposite of everything clean comedy stands for. It's time to ranch it up! Andre's on screen persona can be best described as manic, clashing with anyone and everyone in increasingly hilarious ways. We can do our best to describe it, but the only way to truly understand what this show is about is to see it with your own eyes. Have fun. Number 9. The Tom Green Show One of the original raunchy prank shows, this 30-minute TV program highlighted actor and comedian Tom Green's innate ability to freak people out. So to show my parents how much I love them, I've turned my parents' vehicle into more than just a vehicle. I've turned it into the Slutmobile. Green, along with his co-hosts Glenn Humplick and Phil Giroux, regularly pulled off shocking and or disgusting public pranks, including but not limited to interviewing people with a microphone covered in poop, filming himself buying condoms, and placing a severed cow's head in his sleeping parents' bed. So yeah, pretty shocking stuff. I'm buying a whole bunch of condoms because I'm planning on making love to a whole bunch of people tonight. The show, unsurprisingly, was one of the most popular prank shows among teenagers back when it was still on the air. And a little more green pepper. That should be enough by now. Is that enough? Number 8. The Jamie Kennedy Experiment If you don't laugh at least once while watching this program, you might just be a robot. The show revolved around comedian Jamie Kennedy dressing up in ridiculous costumes and pranking unsuspecting victims, oftentimes working with a friend or family member who was in on the joke. Okay. Yeah. The good news is you're going to keep that envelope. Okay. Cheers. All right. The bad news is that you're going to be axed. The Jamie Kennedy experiment was a two for one punch, combining elements of both sketch comedy and hidden camera reality shows for maximum comedic effect. Do you want to, do you want to get the cleaning? <laughs> Though not the first show to do it, The Jamie Kennedy Experiment was nevertheless a hilarious show that anyone who grew up in the 2000s definitely remembers fondly. Number 7. Scare Tactics Another hidden camera prank show, Scare Tactics was unlike many of its predecessors in that it relied exclusively on putting its victims in frightening and occasionally disturbing situations. Oh my god! Oh what? my god! Please come home. What home. The victims were usually set up by a friend or family member hoping to scare the heck out of them, oftentimes with hilarious results, for the audience at least. Over the years, the show has been hosted by a number of different celebrities, foremost among them being actor and comedian Tracy Morgan. Scare Tactics makes our list because of its unique premise and the spooky laughs it never failed to deliver. Okay, listen. Right. We gotta get them out of here. Right. <laughs> Number 6. The Ali G Show This was a satirical talk show hosted by actor and comedian Sasha Baron Cohen. Me is gonna write a book version of the film Lord of the Rings. In the show, Baron Cohen would appear as three different and equally obnoxious characters. Ali G, a misguided and misinformed rapper, Borat, a grossly incompetent reporter from Kazakhstan, and Bruno, a homosexual only too happy to make his interviewees uncomfortable with his overt sexuality. These three characters would interview unsuspecting guests, some of whom included government officials and celebrities. Unsurprisingly, the show generated a ton of controversy. 
but that doesn't mean it wasn't also freaking hilarious. So the Jew down the well. So my country can be free. So my country can be free. Number five, impractical jokers. Just ask their legions of devoted fans. It only takes one viewing of this show to have you completely hooked. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. And here they are. Impractical Jokers is a hidden camera prank show that follows friends and comedians Joe, Murr, Q, and Sal as they travel around America challenging each other to perform embarrassing stunts. <laughs> Please don't hurt me again. Please don't hurt me again. <laughs> What makes this show great is that the four equally hilarious hosts have no idea what the prank will consist of until the very last moment. This ensures that their reactions are all completely genuine. While some of the dares are downright cringeworthy, the show is ultimately about four friends who just want to make each other laugh. There's your brother-in-law, buddy. There's your brother-in-law. Congratulations. Number four, the Candid Camera Franchise. What kind of list would this be if we didn't include the practical joke show that started it all? Well, tell all our listeners how it feels to be the millionth customer. It feels great. I love being the millionth customer here at Mailbox and this stuff. Candid Camera has been around longer than probably anyone who's watching this video. The show first aired on TV all the way back in 1948, which you might recall as a time when people were still watching TV in black and white. I sell you this donut, I can go home. Take a close look at that. The premise was simple but ingenious for its time. Hide a camera and then prank an unsuspecting victim for the amusement of the viewer. Nowadays, most people probably remember the show best for its iconic catchphrase. But once upon a time, it was a full-blown phenomenon. What's the problem with me parking in my driveway? Oh, you're, uh, you're blocking a pedestrian walkway here. <laughs> Number three, Just for Laughs Gags. If you grew up in Quebec, Canada, then this show needs no introduction. But for the rest of you, we'll lay it out plain and simple. <laughs> Just for Laughs Gags is a hidden camera reality TV series very much in the same vein as our previous entry, with one minor difference. Most, if not all, dialogue is replaced by a mixture of sound effects and a laugh track. <laughs> The gags in question are usually quite innocent, with the prankster always pointing out the camera to the victim at the end of the stunt. The pranks may be silly, but the show is thoroughly enjoyable. Stop searching. You just found your new guilty pleasure. <laughs> Number 2. Jackass Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. If you are a male between the ages of 10 and 30 when this show first aired, there is a 150% chance that you've seen at least one episode. Jackass was the reality show that put all other reality shows to shame. And then Prank called them to really hammer home the point. Go. Is there ketchup in there? <laughs> the show was about who could perform the craziest, stupidest, and most dangerous stunt on an episode-to-episode -episode basis. It was made up of a unique cast of characters who loved nothing more than to prank and humiliate each other as often as possible. How do I hit the five sounds? Oh, the show spawned three films and a handful of spin-offs, proving once again that people just love watching other people get hurt. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Just ask just one question. Do you like tapes or CDs? Do I like tapes or CDs? CDs. CDs? Yeah. Well, CDs nuts in your mother mouth. Hello! Yeah! Yeah, I'm in the library, yeah! Hello? Hi! I need to see the vet! Right? What's the problem? I'm not feeling very well. You're not feeling very well? No. Then I think you need to see a doctor. Number one, punked. While this show has had a number of different hosts throughout the years, Ashton Kutcher will always be number one in the hearts of viewers. Kutcher and Jason Goldberg created the show back in 2003 and immediately got to work making celebrities feel and look silly. <laughs> I just got punked. 
<laughs> While the show pulled off dozens of hilarious pranks throughout the seasons, its crowning achievement is without a doubt the time Kutcher made Justin Timberlake believe his home was being repossessed by the government. We'll be out of here in 20 minutes. Anytime your hidden camera show can make one of the world's top celebs cry on camera, it's safe to say you're doing something right. It may not have been fair, but it sure was funny. This is Kanye Tudor, and I just got pumped. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.